Hello and welcome back to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Last time we built ourselves a chimney and we got a nice base going here. We got a crock pot, a chimney, and now we need to look towards surviving in the future. So how pretty shall we go about such a thing? Well, I'm thinking, first off, well, at least one of the things, we need an alchemy engine, very important. We need, I think it would be very nice to have a path between this these areas it's covered by sandbags where are sandbags right there it's cloth and sand if we could get a path that we put across there I believe the sandbags their entire purpose is to prevent flooding that's what I understand so if we got a path lined with those then we could connect these two halves of the island even if this entire beach area floods over which I'm not sure if that's ever gonna happen but you know I don't want to risk it that's terrible I'm also thinking, probably first things first, we should get some sort of, um, oh my lord, it's a, ah, oh no, it's a poison snake. Die, poison snake! We should get some sort of sail for our boat. That's probably the best thing to do. Oh no, we're full. Okay, we'll just drop this here. Should we? No. We should probably plant this. That's more important. There we go. So we should get a sail for our boat in order to do that. I'm thinking we have a lot of time, so we should get a cloth sail, which should be down here somewhere. It's somewhere. I swear it's somewhere, okay? Let's see. Thatch sail, boat repair kit, cloth sail. Requires an alchemy engine. Okay, that's not happening. Um, we could... We could build an alchemy engine instead. I think we have enough stuff. So we need two electrical doodads, which is four gold. We have more than enough gold. And I think we have more than enough stone sitting around, even on just this island. So we should be able to do that quite nicely. We'll get an alchemy engine up, get ourselves a sail, and that'll speed up our nice rowboat. Oh, good lord. Not enough carrying capacity! Oh, no. We need a backpack. Do we have enough for a backpack? We really don't. We need some more grass. If we get a legit backpack, I think we should be pretty happy. Or if we could find one flower, that would also open up the petals. That'd be nice. Oh, look, one flower. Then we'll build ourselves a garland and we'll be quite happy indeed. Insanity is not my plan today, friends. I don't want to go insane anytime soon. Or later really ever so we're just gonna try our best not to go insane so what are we doing building an alchemy engine there's a snake curse you snake luckily you're not a venomous snake die you disgusting little snake there we go oh yes we want to build a single chest that's what I'm looking towards and if we get a single chest we should be pretty well off in terms of the amount of stuff we can carry around. Now oh, another banana we have to put down. Another uh, pine cone? No, that's the worst. There we go. One, two, trace. Oh no, we dropped it all. We leave this 9% pickaxe right here. We'll bring these, go build a chest, drop some stuff off, and then work from there. So alchemy engine. We need to destroy all of the stones on this island. Not even a question. Not even a single question. Every single one of them needs to go. All of them must die a terrible, sad, and unfortunate death. But it is a death that needs to be... that needs to occur nonetheless. So are there any other rocks on this island? Yeah, there are. That looks like enough for what we need. Which is, I believe, two cut stone apiece... And, no, one cut stone, so four total. Four total cut stone. I think we have enough stuff for that on this island. Oh no, a spider came and ate our banana! You disgusting spiders! Don't eat my banana, are you kidding? Oh my word. You know what else I just realized? When that spider den pops into a queen spider, that's gonna be quite a problem for us, isn't it? Is that the only spider den here? It is. We're gonna need to take that out ASAP, because we cannot allow that to pop into a spider den. That would be terrible. 
And I mean terrible on a whole new level. That would be wretched. Like, having a spider queen chilling out around this tiny little island is not acceptable. And then it's gonna spawn even more little spider dens. Oh, it's disgusting. Disgusting! We can't allow this. It must be terminated immediately. And I think we can do it. I think we have the equipment. It won't be too hard. It's just a bunch of spiders, mate. Just a bunch of spiders. It's not like it's a bunch of monkeys who run around and throw poop at you. That's the worst. Let's see. Yep, we do have our four cuts down. Perfect. Perfect. Do we need planks? We need four planks. So, unfortunately... Oh, no. Well, unfortunately, a poison spider showed up. By poison spider, I mean a poison snake. But, you know, same difference. And... We're going to have to kill more trees, quite unfortunately. These trees... You, you try to do well, trees, but quite unfortunately, you must all die a terrible death to my axe. Oh, good lord. Let's see. Did I build the axe? I did not. That's the worst. Ah! Give me one second. Sorry, I resized the window to be really small accidentally. It's quite unfortunate. Hello, snake. Bring, bring it, snake. Prepare to die. Well, technically, I don't really want that monster meat, but I'll take it anyway. I'll take it anyway. It's fine. We'll take the monster meat. It's kind of disgusting stuff, mate. It's wretched. I mean, have you ever eaten monster meat before? Tastes like a load of uncooked barnacles, which is... Ugh. And it makes you sick like nobody's business. Like, if you thought, like, the runs were bad, ugh, this is a whole new level of runs. This is the worst runs you've ever experienced... Plus, you're being punched in the gut repeatedly. Sometimes you're literally being punched in the gut repeatedly, but that depends on how many snakes happen to be in the area at the time. So, I mean, it's not really a given that you're going to be punched in the gut. Here we go. Nice. Oh, look at the poison snakes over there. Oh, that's the worst. We need a seashell suit. That is for sure. If we get a seashell suit, they shouldn't be able to, um, do any poison damage to us, which would be perfect. I don't want to be poisoned, are you kidding? We're also very low on food. By food, I mean health. We actually have quite a bit of food. It's actually quite nice, for once we're not dying. I like that. I like it quite a bit. I'm gonna put in a bunch of stuff. I have no clue what that's gonna make. Like an egg, a couple seaweed, and some berries. I think it's gonna make a fried egg with berries and some seaweed on top. Doesn't sound appetizing. Doesn't sound appetizing to me either. Oh, it's a, it's a meatball. That's delicious. Are you joking? We're gonna have to uh, cook this seaweed before it actually legitimately spoils, because that would be wretched. We don't want any of our food to spoil. Are you kidding? That's disgusting. Oh, can you hear them out there? It's a bunch of sp snakes, not spiders. Snakes. A hundred thousand snakes out there, being pricks. So we do still need a bit more wood. But after that, we should be perfectly fine to build a nice alchemy engine and then potentially make a snakeskin sail instead of a cloth sail, because that seems a lot easier. I think we have the snakeskins. I mean, we've killed quite a few snakes. So we should be able to do that and be perfectly fine, mate. Perfectly fine. And I think we have the wood for it right now. Brilliant! Pound that wood out into boards! Oh my lord, what tool are you even using? WX78, are you using your own hands for that? Because, mate, that is legendary. <clears throat> I do have to say, that is absolutely legendary, mate. I mean, would you ever pound out boards with your own hands? No. Are you a robot? No. So, that might be why. But, you know, at the same time, Incredibly impressive. Incredibly impressive. So let's check out our snakeskin sale. Thatch sale, snakeskin. We need wood, rope, and snakeskin. Let's check if we have enough snakeskin. That we do. Only just enough, though. That's impre That's unexpected, actually. And then we need rope, which is not going to be the easiest thing in the world to get. We don't actually have a large quantity of grass on this island. Kind of unfortunate. 
But we do have some grass, nonetheless. We will exploit this island as far as we can. Should we duke it out with those spiders? I feel like that's probably a good idea at this point. Okay. Let's leave the thatch pack. Put on this. Come on, spider. Come on. Come on. Got a couple spiders coming here. We don't want to fight them on their own turf. They're kind of dangerous on their own turf. Die, you spider! But if we can reduce their numbers before we actually attack the legitimate fortress. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Bring it, spiders! You shall suffer a terrible fate. Unknown to other spiders of your kind. I can't even see it. Are these... Is it just going to keep spawning two spiders? Because that's kind of terrible. I thought you killed them once and then they disappeared. And you could go in and take down more. Well, it looks like... Oh, it looks like we got it. It is dead. Perfect. Because, I mean, it's nice. We could get a good supply of silk, but at the same time, the chances of the spider queen showing up, not worth it. And, quite frankly, once they get actual attack spiders, that's a rather dangerous situation. So, let's see. Any grass here? Not really. Gonna have to go elsewhere. Looks like... There's not a lot of grass over here. There is a grassland, though, which could really benefit us. Looks like we have enough for one rope. That's disgusting. How can we only get on this entire island enough grass for one rope? Who? Pig! Who did this? Oh, my lord. Well, let's go check the beach down there. Unfortunately, I can't really tell the difference between grass and bamboo on the minimap because it looks almost the same. Quite unfortunate. But we'll see if there's any down here. Hello, Touchstone. Thank you, Touchstone. You are quite nice to us. Um, no, not really. Not really at all. Ah, oh, we just need one more grass. I don't want to have to go off my island. My island is nice. I don't mind being stuck on this island forever. It's a nice island. It's no longer inhabited by spiders. We fixed that. It's got a ton of stuff that'll help us survive, which is nice. And, I mean, we just have to wait for a grass to grow. It's not that hard. Right? Right, people? Right? No? I don't even know. I mean, for all I know, it could be really difficult, actually. Given that this is Don't Starve, you never know. Probably gonna get another... some sort of meatball out of that. That'll be nice. We'll be able to bring ourselves up to full hunger. And then with that sail, we should be able to sail to other islands so quickly, it'll make you want to die. Although not actually, I mean, not... Nobody actually wants to die because they're sailing quickly, but you, you get the idea. It's so fast, you won't even be able to understand. It'll be beyond human comprehension, the speed at which we're going. It might even be beyond 88 miles an hour, although that one's questionable. Quite questionable indeed. Nice. Um, pine cones, there we go. So it looks like our little protection tree has grown, which is nice. Hopefully it doesn't get inhabited by snakes anytime soon, that'd be terrible. I'd hate to have snakes in my protection tree. I mean, I think most people would hate to have snakes in their protection tree, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. If snakes get in there, can we fix it? I don't think so. There's no way. Can we fix it? No, we can't. Never. It's done. Pretty much you're doomed. What's that? Was there... Was there a thing in here that required an entire jellyfish to make? Yeah, look at that! Sea trap requires an entire jellyfish. How do you get an entire jellyfish? I feel like that's not an easy thing to get. Snakes can sail. We need to refine our grass into rope. Not too hard. And now we shall have our snake skin sail. Perfect! Now we can leave the island quickly. 
and with speed, which is what quickly means, but you know. Just go with it, mate. Just go with it. Okay. Shut up, Steam! I'm gonna burn you in a pit, Steam. I don't even know. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's cook up some bananas, see if we get more than one. Nope, we only got one. And try to make some sort of, like, banana smorgasbord. With, like, berries and bananas and all that jazz. I would even go so far as to maybe call it a berry bonanza. But, you know. That's just me. That's just me. Although it is a great name. Just think about it. Berry bonanza. Don't you want to eat one of those? Just think about what a berry bonanza would taste like. Tasting paper, actually. It's kind of concerning. Maybe berry bonanza was not the best idea in the world. But, you know, we're going to get somewhere. So, what do we need? Tomorrow, we need to head out. Looks like there's a grassland right next to this thing. If you look at the shade of green. So we can go check that out. See what's over there. Maybe we'll get a bunch of grass over there. That would be the ideal situation. We'll go get that treasure. And we should bring back... What should we bring back? Saplings. And grass tufts. To plant upon our island. As well as any particular poops we happen to find on the way there. Although I doubt we'll find a particularly large quantity of poops. It's not usually a thing. It's not easy to find, I'll admit. Ice. Water of the solid kind. Hail? It can hail? Is that dangerous? Should I be concerned about hail? Oh my word. Oh right. That's our other concern. Um, a, there's still an endothermic fire in the game. So most likely there'll still be a summertime. So we do need to be concerned about that as well. And make sure that we are prepared for intense heats of the summer. Which I don't think will be too hard. Oh, look. The tide is rising. Where's our boat? Down here. Perfect. So I'm pretty sure we'll be safe in our little camp, even if the tide rises all the way. We should be fine. Woo! Here we go. Look at that. We got a sail and we're happy and it's fine. Look at that water rising. It makes me concerned for my well-being. I'm sure my well-being will be fine, though. We'll just have to watch out. Ooh, seaweed. Any form of food is a good form of food for me, my friend. I am WX78. I don't really care about what I eat. I'll literally eat just, you know, um, I'll eat gears. I'd eat that jellyfish. I mean, if I was desperate, I'd eat just about anything. Oh, look at that. That's a treasure trove right there. Wow. And apparently we have found a tall bird. Apparently we found a family of tall birds. Quite a few of them, actually. That's a concerning quantity of tall birds. Although, we have found this as well. Volcanic land. Which is perfect. Having a volcanic land this close to us will prove to be quite advantageous. Because we are running out of rock on our little island, but with this place, my word, are you kidding? We'll never run out of water. Ugh. We will never run out of rock. Although we will have to run into tall birds on occasion. Not necessarily the best. Goodbye, rowboat. Please don't get stolen or drift off into the sea because I kind of need you. We're going to go check the rest of this island. Which I think is connected to... Ooh, wooden potato thing. Oh, I like wooden potato things. That's nice. Looks like we got a beach with a bunch of sticks and grass. Oh, sticks and grass. I could live off of sticks and grass. Pretty much what you do is you stick the grass through the sticks. You make a grass kebab, which you can just cook by, you know, like putting it over the fire. Maybe. You know, it's a 50-50 chance of working in that situation. But I'm going to say most likely you'll be perfectly fine with it. Come on, WX78. We need a bunch of these things. So we will need manure or rot to bring these grass tufts up to the point where they'll be producing. But that's fine. I mean, just having them means that we can leave things to rot. And we should be 
pretty well off. The saplings, I believe, you can just replant and they'll be fine. Which is nice. How far are we from that axe? Oh, well, quite a ways, actually. We need to head over there, quite frankly. It's quite important. We'll just take any saplings we see along the way. I think we have quite a few grass tufts, as is. Hello, bees. Oh. It's a mangrove forest. Oh. It's a bunch of water. Okay. Um, I take it back. The two islands are definitely not connected at all. That is terrible, actually. That is wretched. I'm quite sad. Um, we're gonna have to go back to our boat and sail our way over there. Hello, Mr. Deadman. How do you feel? Mr. Deadman does not appear to feel very good at all. Quite sad for poor Mr. Deadman. But, I mean, Mr. Deadman has to suffer for his sins. And I'm sure his sins are numerous, to say the least. I'd say probably the whole building a fire pit in a magma area is a sin enough for anyone. Because, I mean, does that sound like a good idea to you? To me, it sounds like a wretched idea. So, you know... Poor man, but at the same time, he deserves everything that came to him. Hello, mangroves. I wonder how this will change over the course of the seasons. What does the mangrove forest mean in terms of seasonal change? Who knows? Ooh, look, there's a manure pile. It's a water beefalo! My word! Hello, water beefaloes! Wow! I never thought I'd see a water beefalo! That is brand new to me, mate. Well, I guess we got our source of poops that apparently don't dissolve in water, which is kind of concerning. But I guess we have water beefaloes. Perfect! I love water beefaloes. I hate monkeys, though. Hate them so much. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of this. Maybe we'll get something really sick. What do we got? Oh my lord. We kind of did get some sick stuff. We got a purple gem. We got a blue gem. We got a boat lantern. Oh my word. We don't need that seed. Psh, seeds are for the weak! And a sea trap. Why did everything go quiet? I'm very concerned by the fact that everything went quiet. I'm freaking out, mate. Freaking out! We need some wood so we can set up a quick campfire. You'd say, why not go up to the campfire over yonder? I would say, you know what? Chances are it's booby-trapped, okay? I can't risk it. There, have the banana. I don't even care. You can have the banana. Just leave me alone, monkey. No, now there's spiders. Spiders, buzz off! Get out of here, spiders. I hate you. We're just going to run quite a ways and then set up our camp right over here. Perfect. Well, that ends day 15 and brings us to the end of our episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we shall head back to our island and do our best to continue to survive. We have a bunch of new saplings and grass tufts that we can plant on our island. And we've still got the plan for the big sandbag walkway, which will be just brilliant. So until then, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>